Well, praise the Lord, everyone. Good morning, good morning. We welcome everyone again to Everyday Communion with Pastor Raymond. And as always, we encourage everyone, hey, go ahead and get your communion elements on this morning. It's time to take communion. Bless God. All right. So this morning, our morning reading will be coming from John 13, verses 34. And it says, A new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. Again, a new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. Message translation says, let me give you a new command. Love one another in the same way I have loved you, you love one another in the same way. My God, all right? So this week for Everyday Communion, we are going to stir up our love. My God, stir up your love walk, okay? <laughs> that for the Christian, the believer, the child of God, the saint, we are under a commandment to love. Again, for the Christian, that's, that's, that's us. The believer, that's us. The child of God, the saint, we are under a commandment to love. Love is a commandment for us. It's not a suggestion. It's not if you feel like it. It's not optional. It's not if you like the person. No, we are commanded to love. Jesus commanded us to love one another as he has loved us. He looked beyond our failures and our shortcomings and still loved us and even gave his life for us. My God, all right? And then he comes to us and gives us orders and a commandment to what? Love one another as he has loved us. Follow the example that I have given unto you, my Lord, as I was willing to overlook your failures and your shortcomings. I want you to be willing to overlook the failures and shortcomings of others and love one another as I have loved you, my God. Saints, this is not up for discussion. It's a commandment. <laughs> my God, again, this is not up for discussion. This is a commandment. These are our divine orders. That'd be like someone in the military getting a commandment or getting an order uh, say so you're going to be stationed in, in Virginia. And they're like, no, I don't want to be stationed in Virginia. I want to be in Hawaii. So they just go to Hawaii, but they have been given what? Orders. They have been commanded to what? Be stationed in Virginia. They'll be considered AWOL. My God, why? Because you are going against the orders. You are going against the command, my Lord. Likewise, we are a, a commandment to love. It's not optional. It's not a suggestion. It's not up for discussion. He didn't say if you feel like it, or if you like the person, or if you agree with the person, or if you agree with their politics. None of that. They ain't say none of that. We are commanded to love one another. Amen? Amen. This is our commandment. So that's what we're going to be discussing on this week, the love commandment, stirring up our love. Amen? Amen. So let's go to take me on this morning. Father, we love you. We bless you. We thank you for this new day. And another opportunity you're giving unto us to come before your table to commune with you and with one another. And for that, we say thank you, Father. We take the bread right now, which represents the body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, everything you're doing, everything you've done was for us. You was made sin for us, that we might be made the righteousness of God. You bore all of our sicknesses, carried all of our diseases, the chastisement for our peace. Our complete wholeness was upon you, Lord Jesus, with and by your stripes. We were healed, therefore we are healed. And we're healed right now from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet. We say thank you this morning, Lord Jesus. We do this in remembrance of you, discerning your body right now. We take the bread and we eat all of it. Thank you, Jesus. Bless you, Father. While we bless you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And we take the cup, the cup of the blessing, the blood of Jesus. Because of your blood, Lord Jesus, we stand before the Father this morning, holy, blameless, the righteousness of God, without fault, without blame, and love. All of our sins, past, present, future sins forgiven. 
never to be remembered again, never to be brought up again, never to be discussed again. For that we say, thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you for your blood. We take the cup of the blessing and we drink all of them. Hmm. Saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So again, we have a commandment, all right? It's not optional. It's not a suggestion. It's not up for discussion. He didn't ask how you feel about it. It's a command. My God. <laughs> My God. We are commanded to love one another, all right? So let's get our healing confession in on this morning. My body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. My body is blessed and in good health. Lord, I thank you that you have taken all sicknesses, diseases, infirmities and pains away from me i am healed i am whole healing and divine health are flowing through all my system i am walking in divine health my body is energized strong renewed and restored to perfect health again my body is energized strong Renew and restore to perfect health. Amen. Amen. Father, we love you. We bless you. We praise you, Father. We thank you for this new day and all you have in store for each and every one of us. Father, right now, I shout grace, grace to every household. Father, I thank you that every need of every household is met in full with abundance and more than enough. Father, I speak peace to every household. We bind all strife, division, and confusion right now, and we speak peace, Father. And for all those who need healing on today and health and strength in their bodies, Father, I thank you that you're the Lord our God, the healer for us. And I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you have healed them all. And I decree that you are included in it all. Amen? Amen. Hey, God bless you guys. We love you. Thank you for joining us this morning for Everyday Communion. Everybody have a great day on today full of God's favor and blessing. Amen? Amen. Love you guys. Have a good one.